Hello, everyone. Um, this is the first encounter for the Lille language community. Um, um, I'm just waiting for my students, but then uh, uh, they are welcome anytime. Uh, I'll be just waiting here. Um, in this session, we are going to speak about uh, how to improve our language skills. So um, let's wait and see if the students are going to join me uh, or join this online session at some time. And let's see what happens. Anyway, if the students doesn't show up, uh, I will um, share the document with the a PowerPoint presentation for this online session any, anyway. So um, let's wait. And okay, this moment I'm going to share um, my screen so you can see uh, this presentation. Um, give me one second. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hmm, Diana. Diana is right now by Skype, so let's see.
Okay, uh, in this moment, Diana Jaramillo have just joined, and uh, she's writing me here to figure out um, how to connect uh, to the session. So let's see if she can figure out how to do it. Um, uh, she's writing here, so. Uh, she, and so I don't know. Um, Uh, okay. Let's see if she can um, realize how to do it, uh, to connect through the uh, Google Hangout. So once we are just connected, we can begin with, uh, with the session. Mm, okay. Hola. Hi, Diana. Hi. Oh, I, I, I Hi, have. Um. Hello. I have to activate my cam. Oh, it's up to you. It's up to you, but it will be nice to see you. Oh, Please okay. let me see your face. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So hold on a second. I just. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, Can you please uh, allow me a second? I have to do um, um, two minutes call, okay? Okay, Diana. Okay, excuse me, I'm just going to grab my, my coat. It's been chilly here. <laughs> a moment, just a little bit.
I'm sorry, I'm here. Um, All right, Diana. I'm glad that you are back. I'm sorry. Uh, Hi, Diana. Hi, I have a lot. Uh, and I just, I just got home right now, and I was um, fixing something here. Okay, that's okay, Diana. All right. So. Um, um, Okay, I'm going to introduce myself and then, uh, then we can uh, get to know each other. Okay, that's good. Okay. Sounds good for you? Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Um, I'm, a, I'm alone okay. on this group. This is like a more like personalized, how to say, like uh, you get in touch uh, with the students. It's just like a, a group of four students. Um, like, Actually, it is meant to be like this because our purpose is to have the opportunity to to get the students to interact more mm -hmm. with the teacher and everything. So, um, well, yeah, for this now you are going to be the only student, but then I, uh, we will have more students. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, sounds good. All right, oh, but. Um, would love to introduce myself. My name is Nixa Rojas. I will be your uh, online tutor for these sessions. And um, right now, I'm living on. I work as an opera and also I work for the university. Uh, and and yeah, um, the uh, the connection is. Um, where, where do you say you live? Oklahoma City. Yeah. Where? <laughs> Oklahoma City. It's ah. in the United States. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just connection, it's um it's um it's lagging. Yeah, it's a poor connection. Okay, but you can hear me well, right? Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, okay. but okay now I can hear you. Mm. Okay. Okay. What about you? I would love to know more about you. Um. Uh, well. Um. I'm a um, female of nineteen seven. Uh, nine, no, twenty seven. <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry. Um. I'm a very old lady. Uh, no, I'm twenty seven years old. Um. I'm a teacher. <coughs> I'm a science teacher. Um, I live in Pereira, Colombia. Can you hear me? <coughs> Hello, can you hear me? Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. So I live in Pereira, uh, Pereira city in Colombia. Mm, um, I don't know what else to say. I, um, I'm a mother, I'm a teacher, okay. and I'm a student. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. All right. Um, I have a main recording. So um, I would love to know what is your main purpose for this uh, for these sessions. Like, uh, what do you motivate to join the, uh, this session? If and also, which career are you studying at this university? Okay. Um, well, the first thing that motivates for being honest to be in this session is because the session has to be taken. Okay. I like the motivation. Why? Because um, it's important to improve my English, but uh, for example, this hour and the rest of the hours are very difficult to take because there is a session at mornings or at afternoon and I'm working. So it's very uh, complicated to me to take them, but that will be the print the main. Okay, so I can lie, I can tell you, uh, yeah, it's completely voluntary, but it's because it's not, it, it's it's a duty. Um, but also, I think this session is very useful because I can improve my English, I can improve um, grammar and expression, and all the things I think I have to improve and I have to get better. Mm. 
that's it. Oh, and I'm, yeah. and I'm uh, uh, licensure in English. What is that? <laughs> uh, like uh, for be a um, licensed, licensed, licensed. What is the expression in the Spanish? Licenciatura. Ah, uh, bachelor. Bachelor degree. Bachelor degree mm -hmm. in English. Oh, as, okay. As a foreign language. Okay, that's good. All right. So, Anna, is this um, like we have lots of sessions, but next week will be available at 9, by 9 p.m. So, um, do you prefer? Prefer this time, or do you prefer the nine? Well, to nine p.m. The thing is, today, Tuesday, uh, I take some classes, uh, extra classes, and those classes are until nine p.m. So uh, I have to take taxi to my home, and that will take at least fifteen minutes. So I will be late. So I can tell you. But uh, for example, for example, any day, any day from. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. or from 4 to 6 p.m. will be great any day. Mm, all right. If, all right, sounds good. If maybe you can say something, but it, if you're not, it's okay. I will adapt to this schedule. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so then we are going to begin. Um, I'm going to share with you. Um, the PowerPoint presentation. So I don't know if you saw or watched the video about uh, how to improve in your English skills. Oh, well, actually, uh, I just arrived and I saw, I just arrived and I saw your message on Sky. So I was putting that video, but then um, I have to ask you to hang out. So uh, I didn't, I didn't saw the message because I don't have my Skype open all the time. Maybe, maybe all right. I will have uh, the message on my email. I, I will I will look at uh, before, but uh, it didn't. Okay, that's good then. So uh, for this session, um, how, how to improve it. Um, you know, like uh, language is a, a pretty complex thing that you, you just have to to work on not just like um, speaking skills uh, so for example um, it's like a building of many things like you have listening skills grammar skills vocabulary you have to learn uh, which more um, reading to um, with all the knowledge that you get you get that the speaking skills at the end right so, um, do you agree? Yes, I agree. I'm, I'm just trying to to listen to you. It's it's, it's kind of difficult because connection. So your your words are kind of like cut it, and oh. uh, it's it's not constant. Okay, so I'm trying to get all the idea. Okay, but yeah, I agree. It's like a building, and, and there is different stage and different uh, skills that we have to. All right. We have to handle. Okay, that's good then. So we are going to begin with the listening skills. So um, we have many uh, ways to improve our listening skills, and then um, we can do many things for fun, just for learn. And I think like uh, learning English is just um, a pleasure to do it. So um, I think it's something that we can do there daily any activities used in order to learn so i don't know diana uh, if uh, you have like a preference for uh, improving listening skills and which activities do you usually uh, do in order to improve it uh well at work um it is cool the school i work uh i work at a school that is um Mostly of the classes are in English, and we have a lot of foreign teacher from the United States, from Australia, from uh, England. So I, I usually I, 
I talk to them, I lunch with them, and I try to practice my listening with them, trying to understand what they say when they speak really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, and listening also with uh, Sirius on Netflix. Oh, that's good, yeah. Netflix is something pretty popular here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because I put, I, put, I put English always, and sometimes I put subtitles on Spanish or subtitles in English. In both ways, I can do the relation between what I hear mm -hmm. and what I'm reading. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you cash up the meaning right away, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. it is difficult if you just listen, but reading at the same time make the message even clearer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a good thing. So. And this is in the list right here. So one of the things that we can do is to watch TV in English, watch your favorite series. Um, those right. What more we can do? Uh, mm -hmm. Music, but well, music has a different pronunciation. Pronunciation, but but music also. If I like a song, I I can try to find the translation and be do the relation between yeah right yeah that's a good thing because you know li uh, when you uh, listen to your music it is like you have fun mm -hmm. but you know according to Stephen Krashen which is one of the best um, authors uh, of uh, English learning so according to him uh, the West best way to learn is actually when you are emotional um, emotion is just low so in that case when you feel comfortable learning you learn even more you know no. so i think yeah listening to music is one very good thing um and into the news right well, i'm sorry what we have also listening to the news Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I'm yeah. not able to listen news, but um, I, I can do it. Yes. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't yeah. watch TV. I, I, don't, I don't watch TV at all. I'm just only here uh, through computer, but I can, I can look for um, a news in English. Yeah, that's right. So, um, which I Activities to improve listening skills. Sorry, Diana? what? Yes. Uh, yeah. Which activities do you usually uh, uh, do in order to improve your listening skills? Me. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I just told you. Oh, sorry. Um, excuse me. Can you see my? Um, your face. My screen right now? Yes. Yeah, but okay. Kind of frozen, but but yes. Right now. You yeah. see the PowerPoint presentation? No. No. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let me see. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> My mistake. Yeah. What, what What is Lille? Lille. Okay. Lille is an abbreviation. How to say? A short way to say language. Eh, pardon. Licenciatura en inglés como lengua extranjera. Oh, so okay. it is a short way to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Okay, so we were speaking about listening skills, right? Uh, yeah. Which activities do you suggest or think are the best to in order to relax? I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? Oh, that uh, which activities do you find that they are the best in order to improve your listening skills? Sorry, the, the words are cutting, so I can't find the meaning what you're saying about what you're saying. Okay, let me see when I move. Okay, you, can you listen to me? Yes. Can you hear me right now? 
Yes. Okay, I was asking you, uh, which activities do you find the best in order to improve your uh, listening skills? It is funny because it's cutting in the first part of the question that I can just understand. Which, which what? Which, uh, which activities? Ah, which activities? Okay, finally. Which activities I can do for develop my listening skills? Yep. Okay. To listen to music and to learn the lyrics. Oh, well, I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. To listen to the news in English. Okay, I have to do that. To watch TV in English, watch your favorite English series uh, Syria on Netflix. Uh, yeah, I, I don't watch TV, but I can watch Netflix. To listen audio books, okay. Um, I'm not, I never hear an audio book in my life, so I think I can find someone, something. I can find something to read. To listen uh, to audio tape stories. Mm, I don't know if I will do that because um maybe i can't uh maybe i will find that boring to watch and listen to talks to conference i do that okay so what's happening with the listening skills is that actually by getting to how to say improving your listening skills you also get to their conversational skills, right? So improve, improving your speaking that way. Uh, in this case, uh, you know, um, you can just practice English every day by listening to uh, audiobooks and things that you really find interesting, right? Okay. Because, you know, like uh, sometimes if we look for something boring, we won't learn the same as we find that thing for us and then in, uh, how to say enrich our career right uh one part of what you say was missing between uh when we find something boring we can learn and then the another part the career part that uh when we just uh, practice and in how to say if those activities that we are more interesting uh, but, but, when uh, we learn better. Can you please allow me a second? Sorry. Okay. Just That's a second. good. Sorry. Okay. Yes. Uh, so we can so I can do that. I can I can try to find something interesting in English. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So find things that makes you how to say feel really interested in learning, and also those things that enrich you your career, right? Ah. Yes. All right. Okay. So. Um, Let's go, if you don't mind, let's go with the next one. The next one is writing a skills, right? Um, which activities do you like the most where, uh, for developing writing a skills? Uh, well, uh, I do one, but it's not there. And it's uh, about to put, um, workshops and 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 some kind of guides and and um and, and papers for the students in english but i don't i don't have my own blog i don't know how to it's, it's very complicated for me uh mm -hmm. i don't have an english diary i don't know what is simmer is and it says i i do know what it is but i i don't write them so maybe i can't try to do something yeah you know like um well we cannot some oh excuse me some of those i i think that's excellent like 
uh, those that you say to add it to the writing skills. Like in this case, um, I think the most important thing is to do what you feel is better, and what I, is just more the way that you learn to your interests, right? So uh, I think writing your own blog can be a really good idea since actually um, it, it is demanding. It demands you to explore more, learn more, and to, to express more your ideas and to just uh, explore more about topics, certain topics, and learn more vocabulary. This way, you also will need very good writing skills, um, excuse me, very good grammar skills in order to get good writing skills. Sorry about that. And then uh, we have also the um, have a uh, English diary, something pretty good. You can do just daily. For example, um, uh, you just write about something that happened that day and you feel about something. It's just a really good fun a way to improve your English and also to practice, practice it in a daily way. Um, then, right, uh, like you uh, asked me hello. what summary is. Hi, they are me. Okay, okay. Diana. Yes? The audio was completely lost. Hello? Lost. Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. Um, you were asking me about the summaries, right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So summaries in Spanish it is um resúmenes. Okay. Okay. So uh in this case you can do summaries, just short summaries about something that you see. For example, uh, when you watch a movie, you can do a short summary about what you see. It is a pretty good way and just so it's a way to improve your writing skills, right? And also if you are like pretty academic and you just love writing, you can try writing essays. And essays or they are ensayos. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Exactly. So um, I think out of this, writing essays is the best way to improve your writing skills, but then it's pretty demanding. And also, if you have like a pretty basic level of English, uh, it is more difficult for you. So um, uh, if you have like a, a basic level, it is better to just start with easy things, okay? Okay. Okay, let's go with the next one, the grammar. Oh um, my goodness, that's so bad. I, I <laughs> think that's my worst skill. I think I don't have grammar for speak, for for write, for everything. Mm, okay, uh, Anna, but you love writing? Do you love writing? I do what? Do you love writing? Do I look writing? Do you love ah, writing? Uh, mm, mm, it helps me. I don't say I don't love writing, but but it's it's nice. It's just yeah. I, grammar is my worst, the worst step of that building. The the worst <laughs> the worst thing is the. Mm, Nothing. <laughs> I I think I I speak like an Indian, okay. like like an in like a uh, government English. I mean, I I don't know. It's it's I think it's pretty basic. So I think I have to practice grammar. <laughs> yeah, what happened with grammar is that actually most of the content that it is meant to teach you or just get you to practice grammar is mostly like book. And some people just don't have much preference for books, you know. But then um, there are many ways you can um, 
learn grammar. For example, if you feel that your grammar skills aren't the best, you can just write for fun, okay? But then it's, it's, it's not just writing. It's trying to write the best, you know? Do it uh, anytime like better than before. Uh, and also, um, another thing we can do in order to improve our grammar is to do academic writing, right? Yeah. Example, what you are doing right now with with the with your career, right? Yeah. You're learning English, and then you are doing uh, lots of academic writing. That's a really good way in order to improve your grammar. Okay. Um, there are yeah, there are actually many exercises that you can find online in order to improve your grammar. We have I put some links on very good uh, sites that you can actually um, use. And at the end of this session, I will uh, share with you uh, this PowerPoint presentation in order that you get all the information and you can access to the different links or yeah. very good um, sites I've that have learned me a lot, have helped me a lot, and that will be like pretty good for you. Yeah, I was about to, to tell you that, that, that I would like to, to have that link of grammar exercise and videos also. I think it's pretty useful. So you aren't the person that loves to, how to say, read books a lot. I think one thing that you can do also is the um, watch videos, you know, like YouTube, there are many uh, videos about grammar, but I have put this one in big videos because it is a pretty good site. You can uh, find lots of videos for improving grammar, grammar, and they are really fun. So, uh, uh, well, mm -hmm. I, I um, I do love reading. It's just uh, right now in my life, I don't have time, <laughs> but I do love reading. Oh, <laughs> no All writing. Right. No writing, reading. <laughs> oh, reading or writing? Reading, reading a book, no writing. And I thought that that you were asking me about if I love writing, no reading. Yeah, exactly, so I, writing. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, okay. what happened? I understand you a lot. What happened to us is that sometimes we don't have the time in order to just sit and write a long essay, right? And what happened? Yes, so in that case, we can just um, do uh, little things as writing a diary, as we say, and do little exercises daily. For example, you say that you don't usually read books, right? Yeah, because I don't have time. In that case, you one thing you can do is to listen to audiobooks, which is like a, a having the person just reading for you just listen. So it's something that you can uh, do while being in the taxi. Uh, it's something that you can do just five uh, minutes daily. That you can do just on a daily basis. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next. So next we can go with the vocabulary. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> what do you usually uh, do in order to improve your vocabulary, Diana? Really look for the words that you don't, okay, I do that. When I find a word that I can understand, I, 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 I look for the meaning. Mm -hmm. Use new vocabulary and learn some more related. Uh, well, I think I can, I can do that. I try. Mm -hmm get new vocabulary but uh, um, as I have so much difficulty on grammar I, I just don't know how to put that new vocabulary inside my sentence. Learn about your yeah. of interest and practice. practice and learn like okay I think I can do that. Okay yeah you say something pretty interesting right because um, you say that you find difficult to the with the grammar, right? You find it pretty difficult. Uh, can you please repeat that? Your audio went uh, 
crazy again. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um, that um, is something interesting what you have said that you find difficult to the vocabulary together with the grammar, right? Ah, uh, yes. What happened with this is that you you don't actually have to do it. You is this a better way to learn is to actually just learn sentences in order in order to get the full grammar and vocabulary together. Oh, okay. if, for example, yeah, if you get just like word by word, it is more difficult. Okay. The best is to learn, yeah, and to actually that is related to the file that you are interested in. You are writing an essay about something, it is demanding. So you need to actually learn new vocabulary and learn new um, vocabulary related. Okay. So, um, yeah, and, uh, okay. So there, there is a link uh, of a pretty good site in order to improve your vocabulary too. So it's something that you can do in your uh, time, right? Yes. Okay. Um, do you have more ideas about learning vocabulary? I'm talking. Talking. So, yeah, talking with, uh, for example, my coworkers, my foreign coworkers. Uh, sometimes I'm talking with them, and I was, and I'm like, "What? What are you saying? Explain me that meaning, or, or uh -huh. what this word?" So they would tell me, and then, yeah, I mean, I I think that talking also. Yeah, that's a pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that's right. They're completely right. So uh, speaking is a good way to improve your vocabulary. Okay. Um, if you don't mind, we will go with the next one. Okay. Uh, 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 one one question. Um, you just use the word speaking, and I use the word talking. Which one is the correct? Oh, both have the same meaning. Okay. Talking and speaking. It is the same, actually. Yeah. Okay. You can use both ways. Yeah, it doesn't affect the, the meaning. It is the same. Ah, okay. 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 So next one is reading. Reading. Yeah, your favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with reading. Oh, reading. <laughs> reading. I do. I do sometimes reading read news actually from BBC. Uh, oh. When in the moment I want to know what is happening in the world, I just only uh, put BBC. I don't know why. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Use online learning page, British Council. Okay. Read books, read articles. Yeah, um, you are related do, to this? Yes, I do read books and articles, but in academic way for my book. But I don't know what is that. Yeah, British Council. No. Hello. Okay. You. Yeah. Do you listen to me? Yeah. Now. Hi, Diana. Now, now I can hear you. Okay. The British Council has a pretty good uh, web page. This is the Learning English at British Council. So. In this um, site, you can find uh, big, big good things that you can buy for these classes. You can uh, there are lots of exercises, uh, grammar, vocabulary. You can practice all your skills. So oh. they have a section. Oh. Interesting things, uh, explore. Uh, okay. in order to improve your reading. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, read books and read articles. Okay, that's something that you uh, usually do? Yes, but in an academic way, I mean, I would love to, for example, read Harry Potter. 
read uh, Twilight, read a lot of things in English, uh, but I just don't have time. So I do read that, but in academic way. Okay, that's a pretty good way to learn too. So, okay, if you don't mind, we can go with the next one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now uh, speaking of skills. What, what is pen pals? Hmm? Excuse me? Oh, pen pals. All right, pen pals is, um, how to say, it's like a having a friend or online. So in this case, uh, you have a pen pal, it means that you have a friend online you talk to sometimes uh, in order to improve your English. Oh, mm -hmm. you would like to be my pimple? <laughs> well, I'm being your pimple right now. Let's okay. be pimples then. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Do you have a pimple already? I guess I have. Oh, your battery is running low. I guess I have. Uh, <laughs> My coworkers, I, I have one of my friends uh, at work. It's a coworker from 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 Tennessee, I think. And we tend to have lunch together and talk about the day and and stuff uh, every day. So that would be like a pimple. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but that one or in this life. That, that is what? Sorry? It's online or it is live? Like having live. a real conversation live? Oh, that's nice. That, I mean, really as, as I told you, as I told you at, at, my, at my workplace, there is a lot of foreign teachers from United States, from Australia, from England. So, so we talk to them uh, every day as friends. So, mm -hmm. so yes, I, I guess. I mean, some, um, yeah. sometimes when he speaks so fast, I can't find any meaning to any word. So he knows my face and he's like, okay, I will slow down. But I think uh, uh, it's it's nice. I don't know mm -hmm. if that it's like a pimple or it has to be online. Actually, I think what you have right now is even better than a pimple because oh. you have like a direct, direct, uh, how to say, a contact. With okay. the person but then yeah. temple is for some people that actually do not have access to english speaking people so oh. yeah so they can find a painful people sites as a way in order to practice their speaking skills right oh, okay 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 english speaking coffee shops i i think there are like uh, places that you can go in order to uh, just improve your English speaking, right? Yes, here in my city there is one, and, and actually my friend told me about that. Uh, but I think, um, well, I think I, I have to take half the time to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, practice with your mates. Uh, speak by your own. <laughs> Discuss interesting topics, and then explore websites online. There are many ways uh, in order to improve your speaking. And okay. I think, the, how to say, the fastest way to learn English, like it is a speaking, but then it is not going to be perfect when you write. So I think all the skills might be practiced at the same time. And like um, in order to, how to say, to be better, uh, not only at the speaking, but in general. Yeah, like growing in all the aspects at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Muy okay. bien. <laughs> okay, so then I just put a, um, a link of a pretty good site that you can enter. Uh, is uh, Yeah, you can find uh, three, uh, 10, sorry, 10 websites that are pretty good in order to... Uh, improve your English speaking. Um, All right. What is inter Interpols? Oh, okay. Interpols is a website that where you can find pen polls. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, like friends online. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have another suggestion for speaking? Uh, well, maybe when you watch Netflix, when you're hearing the character speaking, you can uh, learn the accent, learn the way they express, uh, um, even try to copy that, practicing while uh, they are talking. So you talk to like a crazy one lady, but you, you, can, <laughs> you can talk at the same time and practice. Yeah, Wait. copy the, the pronunciation, right? Yeah. That's a pretty good one. And I think it's related to a speak by your own. Yeah. Okay, yes, you're right. Yeah, okay. So if you don't mind, we can go with the next one? Yes. Okay. Yes. And this one is more like advices, like uh, for learning in general. Okay. And so the first one is make learning this fun. <laughs> Yeah, and I think like it is the best way to learn. When you just learn for fun, you just have to say are hungry for learning more than just getting bored and just like I don't want to learn more. It is so boring. <laughs> no, yeah. So just look for things that makes you feel a uh, good learning English. So the next one is look for topics and contents in English that you find really interesting. Do you have like um, um, topics that you uh, love to read about? Something that you find pretty interesting Many. in English? Yeah. Many. Many? Lots? <laughs> yeah, that's good then. Yeah, just look for the things that you love to, to write or to read about and explore. Explore a lot. Okay. Uh, don't pro procrastinate <laughs> oh my it's God. a little bit tough <laughs> yeah the big thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah the big thing is it's sometimes it's difficult to do not do it this but sometimes that we have to stop it like we don't we can just procrastinate all our life we have to always keep learning so it is something difficult that but we have to have in mind we need to to practice the practice make makes perfection right yes okay so the le next one learn english daily i think is related to the the last one you know yes and be curious okay just look for new things look for uh, new ways to do um what do you like what you usually do for example look or new sites of things that you love to know about. Uh, just keep exploring. Don't just uh, stick with the same things always. Look for new things, okay? And then make English your first language. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes just, I don't know, I, I used to do it with my sister. I used to just, uh, uh, forget about Spanish and start to, to think in English, to describe the things you see around in English. And yeah, just try to make English your first language. For example, you can change uh, the, the language of your mobile to English or from uh, the language in your laptop. You can do it too. Um, yep. Um, can you hear me very good? Yes, I can hear oh. you. Okay, uh, don't learn alone. You know, the best way uh, to uh, learn English is to be surrounded the most you can by English. As your friends, uh, you say that you have uh, a English or uh, native speakers. It is pretty good. So just surround yourself by uh, English speaker is a pretty good way to learn. Um, travel. Have you ever traveled to an English speaking country? Uh, not to an English speaking country, but in, in Europe, for example, in France, uh, I just speak English because I, I, I mean, I do love French, but I don't know 
French. Uh, in Spain, I did speak English with four inch. Uh, mm, well, here, even here in my country, there is a lot of four inch people. So I, and, and sometimes they are lost. So sometimes I just, I just, um, Get close and say, "May I help you?" Because it's, it's pretty dangerous for them. So, mm -hmm. I think I mean, even on airplanes. Okay, so I think English is like universal language, no matter mm -hmm. the country that you be in. Even in Italy, for example, you can you can understand Italian uh, easy because the Spanish is kind of similar, but also I use it uh, English. All right. So you have traveled to France, Spain, and Italy, right? Uh, yes. Oh, that's amazing. That's pretty good. I'm envious right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. So then, um, subscribe for proficiency test certification. Have you have you done it? No. Like, what? Uh, proficiency test certifications. No. What's that? Okay. For example, you know about the TAFL, the oh, Michigan yeah. test. Yeah, those tests. I want to take those tests. I want it. Oh, so have you ever, um, uh, how to say, do one of those tests? No, never. I actually, I, I never learn in any academy. So I don't know how to uh, even subscribe for any test. Okay. Uh, for example, if I, I just have present the Michigan test. I'm, how to say, um, preparing for the TAFL. But where, where do you live? Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Colombia. Pereira, Colombia. Pereira, Pereira? Colombia. Yeah. You have to look for the British Council. Okay. British Council. Anyway, Colombo Americano. Sorry. Yeah. Like, it's called, they have a relationship. Like, British ah, Council. Oh, okay. yeah. That's cool. That's a school. I don't know if there is Colombo Americano there. Yeah. Yeah. It's a school. It's, a, it's an English school. It's an English yeah. school. Yeah, you have to ask them. They might have it. I, I just present my, mine there in Bucaramanga. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can ask them. And the Michigan test, it, for me, it was pretty easy. And I think for you, it's going to be easy too. So, and the TAFL test, I think they have the TAFL test too. So you have to ask them. And yeah, they will help you. Okay. So you're from Bucaramanga, so you're Colombian. Uh, it's just because uh, I, I I couldn't I couldn't listen at your introduction, so that's why I'm asking. Okay, no, I'm I'm from Arauca, Arauca. Yeah, oh. Colombia. Yeah, I just moved here to Oklahoma like eight months ago, and it's been a wonderful experience. And I'm going to stay for longer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, let's yeah, see. Do you, do you live in Oklahoma? How's the tornadoes? <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not speak about tornadoes. Oh, we, we have a shelter in our home, so we don't worry about tornadoes. But oh, okay, because that's yeah, pretty scary. Yeah, it is pretty scary, but you know, like a, a spring season, it is beginning right now, a spring season. Yes. That's the season of tornado. Oh, Okay, so <laughs> careful. Yeah, <laughs> <Watch out. laughs> yeah but um, the place I am, uh, there are no tornadoes. It's not a tornado area. Oh, okay. I hope so. <laughs> okay. So, finally, uh, we were in travel, subscribe for, uh -huh, and produce, yeah. Yes, uh, produce uh, English, write, uh, speak, all of the things that we have mentioned before. Those are a good way uh, to learn English, right? Okay. And your best approach for learning, and the, the best way you, you learn in English, yeah. Like, don't stick what the other people say. It's more like what you feel that it is best for you, right? Okay. And finally, enroll in English courses. I think we have already do, do it, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm already doing that. Okay, that's good then. All right, Diana. I think oh, I'm just flies, right? This yeah. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any question? Nope. 
All right, sounds good then. Um, the only thing I was uh, seeing is that you have subscribed for tomorrow's uh, tomorrow's encounter, right? Ah, because because I I I I mean I didn't know which one was uh, like, for example. Uh, when I did that, I was trying to say like I can today and I can and I can Wednesday. I mean I, I can both days, but I know it's only one, so I will delete my name. Okay. Okay, sounds good then. And I just love to have this uh, to have you here right now, and and I hope that all of this uh, we have learned in this class be really helpful for you, and that you can apply in your life. I, I I think these classes uh, will be really helpful for me, uh, and also if you can, if you want, and it is and it is if it's more comfortable for you, set another schedule. Just let me know, and I think we can we can try to find a better schedule for you. I don't have problem. Okay. All right. Yeah. The, the thing is that I'm changing uh, some of the schedule um, for next week, but I will share as soon as possible um, the time that I will be available. And then uh, let's, we will see. But if you feel that there is a time that is better for you, if, if you feel that this time is better for you, please let me know and we can uh, find out how to make things uh, better, right? Well, uh, right now it's pretty uh, late for me, but I mean, for example, the best the best day, one of the best day will be Monday or Wednesday from 4 p.m. to any hour. Okay, um, next, uh, next week is going to be like uh, from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m because we are changing uh, like spring time here. So I don't know if that works for you. But not Tuesday. I mean, Tuesday I can because I'm leaving class on 9 p.m. So, but Monday or Wednesday, yes, I can. Monday or Wednesday. All At right. 9 p.m. will be Okay, sounds good, perfect then. So, um, huh? yeah. Any, any question that you have, please let me know and uh, through Skype and yeah, text me anytime. Okay, thank you. Okay, no, thank you. It was wonderful to have you today, tonight, sorry. Thank you, you're very, yeah. you're very kind, okay? So, so have a good night. Okay, you too, have a good night. Bye. Bye.